Hey, what's up? It's Justin from Chinese Drama Land, and welcome back to another video on the channel. This year is going to be the best year for fantasy drama lovers like me, because there's so many great fantasy dramas set to premiere this year. A few days ago, CCTV released a list of fantasy dramas set to premiere this summer, so in today's video, I'm going to list the top 12 most anticipated upcoming Chinese historical fantasy dramas set to premiere this summer. You must add it to your watch list. Chinese Xianxia fantasy dramas have become one of the most popular genres in Chinese drama land over the years. And if you're a sucker for this beautiful genre and its love story like me, make sure to watch the video till the end. Most of the dramas on this list are S-plus dramas, which means they have high production value, so expect to see amazing visuals from most of these dramas. Let me know in the comments section down below which of these fantasy dramas you're looking forward to this summer. Just a quick reminder, the dramas on this list appear in no particular order, so it's not a ranked list. If you go on to enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this in the future. With that being said, let's get started with the video. Number 1. Immortal Samsara starring Yang Zi and Cheng Yi Immortal Samsara is a 60-episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name. Yang Zi plays the descendant of the four-leaf lotus, who became a medicine wonder since ancient times. She and her twin sister later cultivate into a human form, and she encounters a love trial. She falls in love with Lord Ying Yuan, played by Cheng Yi, but she has to spend the next 800 years forgetting him. Number 2. The Longest Promise, starring Xiao Zan and Ren Min the Longest Promise is a 40-episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name, and it's a prequel to Mirror Twin City starring Li Yi Feng and Yuki Chen. The drama takes place in Kongsan Continent and revolves around the tumultuous love story between Shi Ying and Zhu Yan. Xiao Zhang plays Shi Ying, a prince of Kongsan Continent, who gets banished to the mountain to cultivate after his mother was framed. Originally focused on nothing but cultivation, he begins to develop romantic feelings for Zhu Yan, his disciple played by Ren Min, the princess of the Qi Yi tribe. Shi Ying and Zhu Yan don't voice out their feelings due to their teacher-student relationship, and they find themselves standing on opposite sides in the fight for political struggle and undergo life and death situations together. They eventually put aside their issues and work together hand in hand to protect Kong Sang Continent. Number 3 Love Between Fairy and Devil, starring Esther Yu and Dylan Wang. Love Between Fairy and Devil is a 36 episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name. Esther Yu plays Xiao Lan Hua, the Little Orchid, a powerful immortal whose tribe gets annihilated by the Demon Lord. She gets reborn 10,000 years later as a low-ranking immortal of the Heavenly Tribe. Unknowingly, Xiao Lan Hua revives the Demon Lord, her mortal enemy played by Dylan Wang, who decides to sacrifice her immortal soul to unleash the curse placed on his body, but in the process, the heartless demon falls for the gentle and adorable young fairy. Number 4. Song of the Moon starring Vin Zhang and Xu Lu Song of the Moon is a 40-episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name, and it tells the story of a wealthy heiress, played by Xu Lu, who gets embroiled in a battle between immortals and demons, and in the process she gets romantically involved with a mysteriously cloaked immortal played by Vin Zhang. Number 5. Chong Zi, starring Yang Chao Yue and Jeremy Jones Xu Chong Zi is a 40-episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name, and it tells the story of Chong Zi, played by Yang Chao Yue. An optimistic and kind girl who is born with a dark power, who later gets turned away from society and gets treated badly because of her supposed evil spirit. In her most desperate time of need, she gets saved by an immortal played by Jeremy Jones Shu, who takes her as his only apprentice and teaches her cultivation when he identifies the dark power within her as part of the demon clan. 
He also decides to protect her from both humans and demons who want to manipulate her for their own gains. Number 6, Love Never Fails, starring Crystal Yuan and Liu Shuiyi. Love Never Fails is a 36-episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name, and it tells the story of a millennium entangled love between a thousand-year-old camellia demon and the Zongtian king. Crystal Yuan plays a little camellia demon who's cultivating to become an immortal after she boldly confessed her love and desire to marry Jin Xiu, played by Liu Shuiyi, who's the king of heaven in charge of Zongtian. When Hong Ning confesses her love to Jin Xiu, she gets rejected and tells her to focus on cultivation instead. She then spends hundreds of years cultivating to achieve her goal but begins to consider abandoning her path to cultivation when she finds out Jin Xu is going to marry someone else. This is Crystal Yuan and Liu Shuiyi's second reunion. They both starred in the 2020 hit drama Love and Redemption. Number 7, Back from the Brink, starring Neo Ho and Zhou Yi. Back from the Brink is a 40-episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name and it tells the story of Tian Yao, played by Neo Ho, an ancient dragon who was betrayed by the woman he loved. She stripped him of his dragon bones and then sealed them in four directions, causing him to almost lose his life, but by luck his soul escapes and he gets reborn. Tian Yao later meets Zhou Yi's character, who vows to protect him as she retrieves his missing bones. Number 8, Love When the Stars Fall, starring Chen Sheng Shu and Li Landi. Love When the Stars Fall is a 40-episode drama that is the sequel to the 2018 hit drama Ashes of Love, and it's the third installment of the Honey Trilogy, with the first being Ashes of Love and the second being Skate into Love. The three dramas aren't connected plot-wise but do share the common theme of love. Anyways, the drama tells the story of two princesses, one good and one evil, played by Landy Lee and He Xuanlin, respectively. The good one is betrothed to the immortal tribe as the heavenly consort and the evil one to the demon tribe as the demon consort. But something happens as they switch spots. Chen Xing Xu and Chen Muqi play the main male leads. Number 9, Floral Armor, starring Zhu Jingyi and Fiction Guo. Floral Armor is a 40-episode drama that revolves around the two main leads played by Zhu Jingyi and Fiction Guo. Zhu Jingyi plays Wei Zi, the main female lead. She's a reincarnated phoenix and Fiction Guo plays Yang Yue, the sun god. Number 10, Qian Qiu Ling, starring Tong Mengxi and Zhang Yuxi. Qian Qiu Ling is a 60-episode drama that tells the story of the fight between the righteous sect and the demon sect that has been going on for thousands of years. The leader of the righteous sect and the demon star master fought a decisive battle, but years later, the younger generations of the two sects became friends by chance. To protect his master, Shen Xiaoyu, played by Tong Mengxi, pushed Feng Li Shui, played by Zhang Yuxi, off the cliff. But she was rescued and taken away by the first master of the demon cult. The fate of the two has since been rewritten. Feng Li Shui is set to become the leader of the demon cult, while Shen Xiaoyu will become the leader of the righteous sect, and they're destined to meet and kill each other. Number 11, Snow Eagle Lord, starring Shu Kai and Guli Nazha. Snow Eagle Lord is a 40-episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name, which has been adapted into a popular anime series. Anyways, the drama is set in a mythical world in the mainland continent, and it tells the story of a boy raised in a small peaceful town played by Shu Kai, whose peaceful life is disturbed when his parents get arrested by a foreign tribe. He's left with the responsibility of protecting his brother and rescuing his family. Guli Nazha plays Yu Jing Qiu, his love interest. The earliest we can see this drama is the fourth quarter of this year or sometime next year 2023. Number 12, Till the End of the Moon, starring Luo Yunqi and Bai Lu. 
Till the End of the Moon is a 40-episode drama adapted from the novel Black Moonlight, holds the B.E. script and it's set in a time where demons have power over cultivators and mortals. Bai Lu plays the daughter of a powerful sect who is sent back in time to prevent the demon lord from turning into his cruel and bloodthirsty demon persona played by Luo Yunxi. This is Luo Yunxi and Bai Lu's second reunion. They both starred in the 2020 hit drama Love is Sweet and their chemistry was off the roof. The earliest we can see this drama is the fourth quarter of this year or sometime next year in 2023. If you'd like to support me by contributing a dollar or more, check out my Ko-Fi page by clicking the link in the description down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this in the future. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on one of the videos on screen right now. That's all I have time for you today, stay safe, stay well and I'll see you on the next video.